Hello my friends and today we have a very exciting tutorial. We are going to be creating this. Now, this effect is super simple, super effective and super sensational. Even if you're a beginner you can follow along, no problem. Now, before we get started, there is one thing you're going to need. You may have noticed, but my blender looks a little bit different to yours. To get this exact same layout, download my startup file by going to the link in the description and clicking onto my Gumroad page. Here you'll see a blender startup file if you click onto it. It's free, all you need to do is type in zero and add to cart, or if you wanna give me a little tip, you know, you can give me a... <laughs> all right, perfect. So download this and then we can get started. Okay, so my screen keys are going to be at the bottom left corner here in case you get lost, you can follow along. So first things first, what we're going to need to do is select the default cube, press X to delete and OK. We are then going to click Shift A, Mesh and we're going to find a UV sphere. Once you've got the UV sphere, right click onto it and click Shade Smooth. Perfect. We are then going to navigate to the right hand side down here and find the physics properties, which is this icon. Enable collision and we are halfway done. The next thing we're going to need to do is press Shift A, Mesh and add a plane. This is going to be our cloth. Press G to grab the plane and press Z to move on the Z axis. Now we can only move up and down and we're going to move it slightly above the sphere, maybe about here. Perfect. So left mouse click, then press S to scale, press the number two, press enter, press S to scale again. Press X to scale it on the X axis and then press 2 and then press enter again. And we now have our cloth. We are going to go to the right hand side here and just rename this cloth. Just so it's easier for us to see. Perfect. Once you've done that, all we need to do is press the tab button on our keyboard. This is going to enter edit mode. We are then going to right click and then select subdivide. This will then open up a menu at the bottom corner. So click it open and change the number of cuts to 35 and then press enter. Perfect. And as you can see, we have 35 subdivisions in our mesh, which is going to be super useful when we change this into a cloth. So then press the tab button once more on your keyboard to close edit mode and go back to object node. Bang. And on the right hand side here, go back to our physics properties, which is this icon and then select cloth. Scroll all the way down and find collision and then you're going to need to enable self collision so it collides with itself. Perfect. Now if we go all the way to the beginning of our timeline, we select our plane and press spacebar. You can now see it collides with the sphere which is incredible and it's looking good. This is the effect that we want. We are halfway there. Now we're going to pause this and as you can see it kind of has this kind of weird effect to it. That's because we're going to need to right click the cloth, click shade smooth, bam. And you can see it's starting to look better, but we still have that kind of effect that we don't want. So we're going to add a modifier, navigate towards the spanner icon, add a modifier, and we're going to add a subdivision surface. Bang. And just like that, it's starting to look better. Make sure you increase the viewport level to two as well, and it should match the final render look, which is what we want. Okay. So we are halfway there. We then now need to add a studio into the effect. Now, since you've downloaded my startup file, you can see at the top right corner here, we have a studio collection. So to enable it, all we need to do is press this button here and this button here, and we now have a studio. Now to see the rendered view, go to the left-hand side right here where the camera is seeing, press Z to open a pie menu, swipe up to rendered, and then left mouse button, bang. Just like that, we have a rendered view. But you might notice that <laughs> the cloth is going through the studio and that's not what we want. So in order to fix this, click onto our studio, go back to our physics properties, which is here, and then select collision. We are now almost halfway there. Now what we're going to need to do is animate the sphere so it collides and does that weird animation that we saw in the beginning. So go all the way back to the beginning of our timeline, select onto our sphere, then press the auto keyframe button, which is here. We are then going to move our sphere down a little bit. Go to frame 25. Move our sphere up. Go to frame 50. 
move our sphere to the right, go to frame 75, move our sphere down, go to frame 100, move our sphere back to the middle. Now, if we select our plane, go all the way back to the beginning of our timeline and press spacebar, you can now see we have this kind of <laughs> effect we saw in the beginning of the tutorial and now it's colliding with the floor which is exactly what we wanted now if cycles isn't rendering fast enough for you and you can't see in real time we can change back to ev so in order to do that click this icon here to enable render properties change the render engine from cycles to ev and now if we press spacebar we should be able to see it slightly better and this is the effect that we want and it's looking <laughs> it's looking really good okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bake the simulation. So this will enable the simulation to run back smoother in your viewport. So click onto our cloth or our plane, go back to our physics properties, which is here, scroll all the way down till you find the cache, open that up and then click current cache to bake. And that's gonna bake our current cache down here. And now if we press spacebar, it should be way faster in our viewport. Now the last two steps is to enable materials and to get rid of our sphere. So first things first, the materials. I am personally um, going to find a frame which I like, which is maybe here. I'm gonna select onto our cloth, then navigate to the right hand side down here to find the material properties. Then we're gonna add a new material with this button here. We're gonna change it, rename it to cloth. And I'm just gonna change the base color to a bluey color. You can make this whatever color you want. This is now your choice and your preference. Perfect. I'm now gonna select the studio and we're still in our material properties. I'm gonna add a new material, rename this studio. And I'm gonna change the base color again to another bluey color. Perfect, I like that, I like that a lot. <laughs> now if we Take off the auto keyframing button, this is very important, and go all the way back to the beginning of our timeline and press spacebar. We can now see we have the effect that we saw in the beginning of the tutorial and it looks good. But the last thing we're gonna need to do is get rid of this sphere so the cloth looks like it's colliding with itself. So disable all three of these icons. Bam. Now if we go back to the beginning of the timeline and press spacebar, you can see we have the effect and it looks amazing, honestly. Me personally, I like to render out this scene within cycles because it just looks better, the quality is better. So I'm gonna go to the right hand side here, go back to our render properties, change the render engine from EV back to cycles and bang. You can now see we have a better looking cloth simulation and I'm really liking how this is looking at the moment. Now all that's left is for us to render out and we are done. So guys, if you like this video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you found it useful or helpful, then let me know in the comments below. If you end up making a simulation like this, then tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see it. Okay guys, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one, my friend. Peace.